Go ahead. Hi guys, it's a, today we're making granola bars and and uh, uh, we got one of their favorite parts, but that's okay. We're gonna put it in on the chocolate chips. Mm. And today, um, my mom is gonna show you how to make it. Okay, so we have we're making granola bars, and I figured we'd uh, finish the final steps with you if you're able to hop on or catch it at a later time. Um, do you want to tell them what we put in here? Uh, yeah, come when you need me. Okay, come. All right, can you tell them what we put in here? Do you remember? Uh, uh, no. So I will give the list. Does that sound good? I just realized I need to take off my wedding ring because you do have to use your hands. So I will give the recipe in comments below, uh, but we used oats, we used almond flour, we used um, banana, we used butter, we used uh, some baking soda, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, um, let me think here, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank, oh, uh, PB2, which is the powdered peanut butter, some uh, Shakeology, a half serving of shake, half uh, scoop of Shakeology, some uh, cocoa, uh, lots of really fun ingredients, um, and uh, I think that's everything. So I mixed it, you know, all the wet ingredients like the banana, apple cider vinegar, all that stuff. I I blended it real quickly, mixed it all together, and then the dry ingredients I blended that here in the bowl. Then I poured in the wet ingredients and we mixed it with our hand. And now I'm going to mix it with my hand just to kind of give, hi shit there, to uh, give it kind of a little bit more of a blend. I'm going to put some aside because I don't want Jude having chocolate chips yet. And then we'll put the rest here on the, on the pan. So it's super easy and I just love this option for my family. So here we go. I'm going to mix it with my hands here. Okay. And so... Um, it's good to do a little bit of put a little bit of water on on your hands. Um, that way, it doesn't quite stick to your hand. So, with the water, what I'm doing is just kind of creating my shape that I want to work with. So, I'm going to create that here. This is Jude serving, like I said, so he doesn't have the chocolate chip. In there yet. Say hi, Auntie Rosie. She's watching live. What? Ah. Auntie Rosie. Huh? Hi, Auntie Rosie. There, you can come back here, Cameron. You can probably, if you sneak your head in right here. Hi, hi Auntie Rosie. Oh, Alright, so I'm uh, I have a little tray here, little tray that I'm doing for Jude for his own little granola bar snacks. I'll cut them into little squares for him to snack on. So I'm just wetting my hands one more time. Nope, nope, nope. Stop, buddy. You're going to help me with this one, okay? So what I'm going to do is we're going to get this tray. Oops, my hands are a little slippery, huh, buddy? Okay, here we go. You ready? We're going to flip this in here. Get your hand, put, put your stick down, please. Put your bat down, I mean. So we're going to pour this in here. Oh, my hands are wet. That's the fun of live, huh? Yeah. Hold on, buddy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, and we have a sampler. You can't sample while we're in the middle of making it. You better do it afterwards, silly. <laughs> I want to try it. Okay, so here's our water. What is done? Mm hmm So I'm just kind of shaping it. I think you can see this. So what I start, because this is a rectangular shape, I kind of start by creating it into a rectangular shape. Okay, Caleb, you got to back up so they can see, buddy. Oh, Caleb, we forgot to mix in the, oopsie daisy, we forgot to mix in the chocolate chips. Let's do that first. Okay, go ahead and pour in the uh, chocolate chips, please. Yeah, it is yummy. 
All right, so we have our chocolate chips, and so I'm going to mix those in really quickly. It's kind of a messy job, but it's it's really not hard. You just kind of mix all the ingredients together. Can I help you? Mm -hmm. All right, so let me move it back. Hold on, move your hands real quick, please. Okay, don't. <laughs> He's eating the other one. He's quite the baker, what can I say? All right, so let me put this back over here. I think you can see this, Shitter. Can you see this? Aw, thanks, Megan. Okay, here we go. Now I can try it. Okay, move your hands, please. Okay, so I think you can see the granola. Can you tell me if you can see what I'm doing? Because the comments are kind of in the way. So here we go. I'm shaping, getting things all connected. Okay, hold on, buddy. I need your hands out of the way. When I'm done, I'll have you help me, okay? Okay, so I'm just going to wet my hands just a little bit more. Hold my hands. Here, put your hands in here. Go ahead, put them in there. Put your hand, your palm, like this, buddy, like that. Okay, now you can put your hands on there. Okay, can you back up so I can do this part and then I'll have you help me. So I'm just using like the palm of my hand to, you know, flatten it. So I'm making two servings because we really enjoy these. Caleb, you need to back up. You need when to back up so people can see what I'm doing. Get off. Nope, she's still on, but you have to stay out of the way so I can show them what I'm doing also. Whoa. So I'm just kind of using my hand to shape it. And, you know, if you're doing it by yourself, things are going to go a lot quicker. But if you're doing it with kids, it kind of slows things down. But that's, that's the blessing of doing it with children because you want them to to uh, understand how to do things so they can do them when they get older. It's very easy to say, here, let me do it really quickly and move out of my way, but then you don't have kids who know how to do things, and I don't like that. So it just gives me a good opportunity to test my patience. I don't have much of that, but I work on it. Okay, so, Caleb, you want to do the final smashing here? Smash it up. Flatten it out for me. There you go. Flat. Flat. It looks like a big cookie. It's a big cookie tray is what it looks like, huh? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. So we have it all flattened out. Caleb, I'm gonna move your chair so you can rinse off your your hands. Ooh. It's like a big cookie sheet. Yeah. Okay. Now what do we do? Alright, excuse me. Excuse me. Here, come down. So let's rinse off come over here and rinse off your hands. Okay, so here's what the sheet looks like. Alrighty. Um, this one has chocolate chips in it for the for us to enjoy. And this is for Jude. He doesn't have the chocolate chips, so he doesn't have any added sugars yet. And then I'm going to put this into the uh, oven, and I'm going to bake it for about 20 minutes at 325. And then when it comes out, I'm going to let it sit for about 15 minutes. And then once it cools off, then we will sample it, and maybe we'll go live and share our thoughts on how it tastes. Yes. Okay. Say hi. Say hi. Say thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. You want to say hi? Peace. There we go. Here's our homeschool crew for the day. Say I'm just told to. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll answer questions if you have any. I'll answer it later. Bye. Bye.